Wow. Over the last seven years, we've had a Lagodaro, and the programs have been fairly consistent. Uh, even during COVID, you saw we played with masks. Um, so, having established the tradition, and there are people who have always participated, and they will continue to be here, I'm sure that expectation will drive the necessity to continue with you know, this event. Uh, the golfers know that Alao Daryl is part of their golfing calendar. Uh, so the second week in November, they know that a major tournament will take place in their club and sure that they will demand for it. Uh, and with that spirit, I'm sure, you know, at least the golf will continue. And also with the summit, uh, citizens now understand the need to dialogue, the need to come together to discuss issues relating to state and government. And I'm sure future governments will see the benefit of it. Um, it's a good idea. It's something that benefits everybody. I don't see, I don't see what we have to lose by not continuing to you know, summit this way. So I believe that we've started, and um, I'll be surprised if it will be jettisoned. Crowning it all today with uh, this tournament is something else. His Excellency the Governor has convinced me that I must be a golfer. And uh, I took my first shot today in life. And uh, I think uh, I was applauded. Uh, so I'm going to come back and properly join this club. If not for anything, at least weekends. I should be able to run around. I run back here and uh, take my shot. Generally, everything is very impressive. I'm very, very impressed. And I thank the governor for giving us this opportunity to come and witness uh, the joy in Edo State. I just believe that the seventh edition of Alayo Daru did a couple of things for us. First, it marks the institutionalization of a process. You know, so if we've been able to do something consistently for seven years, um, it's almost certain um, that th that thing may continue beyond the period. So the inst institutionalization of a process of planning, of building consensus around issue areas for development, I think has come to stay. And I just hope it continues because it's the basis for how government can run. The second part of this loud arrow for me is more like a vindication of the things we said we would do seven years ago. If you read the first loud arrow uh, presentation and check today, there's nothing we talked about that we haven't done. Um, so it's also for me a process of confidence building, you know, letting the people know that yes, you can have people in government who when they promise things, when they say they will do things, those things will, will get done. So it's changing the narrative of politics. It's not about just, you know, standing on the pulpit and making claims or pronouncements that you know cannot be fulfilled. Um, thirdly, it's the feedback from citizens. I think that's you know, fairly, fairly positive and strong. Uh, so there's an acknowledgement by citizens that, okay, we've made progress. And there's this binding and consensus that, you know, really, we should all support Alaudaro. You know, it's about us, it's about how we progress um, our society and our state. So from those three standpoints, I believe that you can see that we've made remarkable progress in the last seven years. And this event was just um, more like a culmination of what we've done. What we've done is sports, is to get more citizen participation 
in sports as a whole. You see what I mean? And making sports not an exclusive government agenda. Um, so by setting up the various associations, getting people to volunteer, to participate in governance of the sports of their interest, um, with government support and you know acknowledgement, I think has been a turning point for sports in in Edo State. Um, so you have several associations, you know, with sponsors who are now just encouraging sports um, in the communities and you know paying for equipment and uh, for, for sponsoring activities around the state, even in, in local governments. I, I think that that rearrangement of the governance of sports has been what has been purely, uh, truly transformative. The other thing we've done, as you know, is we, in, before our time, they always commingled sports with something else. So it's a minister, ministry of sports and, and they kept moving it all around the place. Uh, so what we've done is to take out sports and create an exclusive governance arrangement for it by creating a sports commission. So it's only, the sports commission is only, you know, the only does sports. No other, you know, there's no other ministerial intervention or participation in sports outside of the sports commission. And what the sports commission have done is, outside of just having their laws, they've also core of sporting development, which is school sports trying to encourage school sports, particularly at the basic level, into house sports, co co competitions among local governments, among territorial you know, areas. And that process of getting young people, youngsters, to participate in whatever you know, sporting activity is of interest to them will make us identify talent very early in their lives. And then, you know, begin to think through how to, how to support and how to nurture those talents to greatness. Uh, and, you know, we are... Sports is in our DNA in Edo State.